Jeremy Clarkson's valid points about the issues facing farmers at the protest seem to have been rendered irrelevant because of this one thing. Jeremy Clarkson has been demonized for suggesting in the past that buying farmland had allowed him to avoid inheritance tax, before Labor's latest tax raid was introduced, of course. Yet how many of those calling him out for finding a legal loophole would do the same themselves if they came into wealth on his scale? From paying accommodation costs for illegal immigrants at an annual cost per person that's more than the average worker's wages to the provision of PlayStations to killer prisoners, the discontent about what taxpayers are forced to foot the bill for is widespread. Meanwhile, there have been catastrophic failures in the NHS from jaw-dropping weights to see a doctor to the refusal to provide various life-prolonging cancer drugs as they are too expensive. Yet the government still stretches our funds far enough to finance career criminals and illegal migrants. There are plenty of reasons to feel fury about how our taxes are misappropriated and how funding never seems to reach those who need it most. In those circumstances, wanting to find a legal loophole to avoid paying a penny more than necessary is completely understandable. Until such times as the funds are used in a way that the majority of right-thinking people would agree with, I won't be judging anyone for not wanting to fork out. I think if I was in Jeremy Clarkson's position and had a 55 million pounds fortune of my own, I'd probably be tempted to do exactly the same thing. I'd be willing to bet many of those expressing mock outrage and indignation over it would too.